Hello everyone. I'm very excited to be here today and to talk to you all about machine learning and what it means to us. Machine learning is everywhere now. You can't take a newspaper without reading how artificial intelligence is making our lives simpler or more efficient. Yet some are still anxious about what automation holds for the future. However, I'm not here to talk about the social implications uh, of this technology. I am a machine learning person, and every day I see the impact it has and the untold value it holds for the future. But I'm jumping ahead. Let me introduce myself. I'm Alessis, co-founder and chief technology officer of Aimbrain, a biometrics company from London. Before starting up the company, I went to university right here in Vilnius, where I studied computer science. After having caught the machine learning and artificial intelligence bug, I decided to further my studies in the University of Edinburgh. Almost did my PhD, but decided it would be more fun to try it in practice. Now, I'm here today to talk about uh, machine learning and how it's everywhere. And this is not going to be a lecture, so don't worry. All I hope for is that by the end of my presentation, you will all have the same passion as I do about questioning the expected, even when you think it is true. Now, let's get started. Does anyone here own an autonomous car? No? Well, but I bet you use recommendations when compiling your music playlists or when shopping online. If you use Gmail, you can see that it can now predict your responses, so you can reply with a single push of a button. It can also recommend you some more interesting and extreme sports activities as well. This is machine learning, and it is everywhere. However, today I want to talk to you about some more interesting and creative applications of machine learning. To do this, I first need to mention deep learning. This is going to be a little bit technical, but trust me, you need to know this, because this technology is underlying most of the things you use today. At Aimbrain, everything we build and use is based on deep learning. It is one of the most ubiquitous technologies out there today without actually ever being seen. Like a famous celebrity, everyone has probably at least heard of deep learning. However, unlike that person that somehow is always on TV, no one really sees deep learning. I won't go into too deep of a technical explanation of deep learning and its methods, but suffice it to say that they're considered universal approximators. What this means is that it can, they can approximate almost any function. To put it into simple terms, a large enough deep neural network can be trained to do a wide variety of tasks, as long as you have a data and a way to quantify the objective. Eh, something like this in a nutshell. Now, I've started talking about what machine learning we are experiencing today with predictive text and autonomous driving. But what if machine learning could be applied to more creative industries, such as art, music, or writing? Well, it can. This would be a rather short and really rather pointless presentation if it couldn't. With the latest advancements in deep learning, we can now create the creative. And I want to show you three examples of exactly what I mean. Let's start with text generation. Now, you all are probably using this already in some capacity with your emails or your messages, but there's a whole world beyond that. Let's take some text that has been generated by a bot that's been trained by one of the greats, Shakespeare. And I won't make you read this because we have computers these days. And you might think that they still sound... To the song, these ideas arose from the ground. Something like that. While in reality, with the advancements of deep learning, they sound more like this. Pain I heard make thee 
and but what though the grinding worms and gig you against it against who should. Live, say you to the wind, for when my sickened strings and vanity has some haste on my gentlemen, Ross Mary and by his good imprisoned with the victory with fire how housewife in her swift blood. Mm, somewhat with a lisp. Uh, and Shakespeare is not the only master we can learn from. We can also learn from the greats such as Dostoevsky and Tolstoy. To the song these ideas arose from the ground. After the Bresh one was the French of feelings even given for him to report to himself to her account. Authority she would in desperate pretext grew here about the same spirits very brailed. She did not suffer, and that there was nothing to say. But alas, at first, without which a quack he had came into Smolensk. Now, while we can see that there are some questionable issues with this, you can definitely feel the flavor of the authors. And obviously the voice is also has advanced significantly. Now what you really can think about is how this technology can help current writers with tasks such as getting over writer's block. And words are not everything. What about art? Sure, creating complex pieces of art from scratch is still a very complicated project. But what if we could take a photo and turn it into a Monet or a Picasso? Well, with deep learning, we can. Let's take this, for example, a beautiful painting by Vincent van Gogh called The Starry Night. And also, let's take this beautiful photo of the Vilnius Castle Tower at night. Now, with deep learning, we can combine this, and I present to you the Vilnius Castle Tower at Starry Night. Now you can see how these tools can help designers and artists and really simplify their work. And no talk about creative industries can be finished without music. We all know that music comes from the soul. But with all respect to all the musicians in the house, deep learning can also be taught to play music. Let's listen to a classical piece by Bach. Beautiful. Now let's listen by something that was composed by a deep neural network that learned under Bach. Now, this all was done with a simple machine. And you can see how this technology will transform the music industry by not only helping composers, but just fundamentally writing the whole scores. It will change the industry probably more than autotune has. Now, as I mentioned, all of this was actually built and crea created on a simple home desktop with relatively simple data and a clear objective. The examples are simple, but its implications are incredible. Just as computers have changed the way we live our lives fundamentally, so is machine learning now changing the way we interact with those computers and with each other. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. And there, everything that's left to say is thanks, see you, and I hope you enjoyed it.